Hi guys, today we're talking about relativistic energy and in this problem um, we've got a proton and it's moving at the speed of 0.910 c, the speed of light. Calculate its rest energy, total energy, and kinetic energy and of course we're going to need to do this in uh, mega electron volts and giga electron volts. Now I put a graph over here um, to show uh, basically what it what it's going to look like. So this dotted black line is going to be your rest energy or ER. This purple line is going to be your kinetic energy which is this. Kinetic energy equals gamma times mass times the speed of light squared minus uh, mc. All right, and then this red line right here is going to be your total energy which is E. All right, now I put a lot of these equations um, just for simplification, but I mean you can pretty much derive them um, just from having one of them. Okay, so anyways, uh, for we'll start with A, and we are looking uh, we are looking for its rest energy. So we got rest energy over here equals mc squared. So we don't even need to know how fast it's going right now. This is the energy while it is at rest. Uh, so we take the mass, which is just the mass of a proton, and we say 1.67265 times 10 to the negative 27 kilograms, okay? And then multiply that times c squared, uh, which is 2.9979 times 10 to the eighth meters per second squared. Now remember, we're going to need this in electron volts. So we're going to take this whole thing and we're going to divide it by 1.60 times 10 to the negative 19th, because that is the uh, charge the electric charge uh, for an electron volt. Alright, so let's go to the calculator. And we've got protons mass 1.676 uh, I'm sorry, 167.265 right, times 10 to the negative 27th. Okay. Now we're going to multiply that by the speed of light squared, 2979 times 10 to the 8th. And of course, we're going to square that. Alright. And now. We are, I'm just going to throw some more parentheses in here just to be on the safe side. We're going to divide it by 1.60 times 10 to the negative 19th. And that gives us 9.39549 uh, times 10 to the 8th. Remember, they want this in mega, which is uh, to you know 10 to the 6 so you're just going to drop that over two places so 1 2 and it's going to leave us with 940 uh, mega electron volts right. so it's going to equal 940 mega electron volts I guess we can just put it up here 940 alright so now for the total energy part B uh, we're going to use this equation, so E is total energy, so we've got the mass, so we've got uh, 1.67265 times 10 to the negative 27th uh, times 2.9979 times 10 to the 8th squared, okay, and we're going to put all of that over the square root of 1 minus 
Now, uh, for this, we've got 0.91, so let's say velocity is going to be 0 0.91 uh, times c squared. So remember, we can just put that as the squared, and this is the squared. It means the same thing. All right. And we're going to divide it by c squared. And so the cool thing with that is we can just cross out those c's, so you're left with 1 minus 0.91 squared. All right. And then we're going to divide that whole, so we're going to divide this, divide it by 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 so that our answer is in electron volts. All right, so, so we've got one the uh, 1.67265 times 10 to the negative 27. And we're going to multiply that by 2.9979 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. We're going to have to square that. Okay. And then we're going to put this in parentheses. And we're going to divide it by the square root of 1 minus 0.91 squared. All right, and we're going to come over here. We're going to divide this whole thing by this number. 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19th. And it's going to leave us with 2.27 giga electron volts. Because remember, giga is to the 9th. So. So we'll leave us with 2.27 giga electron volts. Now, for kinetic energy, um, since we know those two, it's pretty simple. And uh, so, total energy is equal to your kinetic energy plus your rest energy. And so, you can just rearrange that and take the kinetic energy is going to be equal to your total energy minus your rest energy. So we've got our rest energy here, we've got our total energy here, we're just going to subtract the rest energy from the total energy. Okay. So our total energy we said was 2.27. Or I guess we can just uh, we can just kind of use this number. So we'll just say answer, which is our total energy minus uh, our rest energy which we had up here which is uh, 9.39549 uh, times 10 to the 8th power and that's the same as saying 939.549 uh, megavolts or mega electron volts sorry and we calculate it and we come up with 1.33 giga electron volts. So for part C, uh, 1.33 giga electron volts. And just write this. So you just say uh, kinetic energy equals E minus ER. And that is how you solve that problem. Pretty simple.